Hi, this is Matt from TechNinja. Today I'm going to show you how to connect to the internet using a static IP address and DHCP. Okay, first things first, to connect to the internet we're going to need to obtain an IP address. So what we're going to do is go to the start menu, then to control panel, and we're going to bring the bar down to network and sharing center. Now from here, we're going to go to the left hand side and go to manage network connections. Now as you can see, I'm already connected to a Wi-Fi network, which is the wireless internet. If I want to change the settings for this, I want to go to right click, then properties, and then right here where it says internet protocol version 4, I'm going to highlight that and go to properties. From here you can see that I have already have it selected on obtain an IP address automatically. This is using DHCP as a connection. If I wanted to put in a static IP address, I would put use the following IP address and just type one in here. You can click anywhere in the subnet mask after the IP address is filled out and it automatically fills it in for you. And then the default gateway. You can usually get this information from your internet service provider. If not, you can just use a DHCP connection, which is most commonly used. So click connect and close. And that's pretty much it. Now if I wanted to set back up to DHCP, which I want to use here, I'm going to go back to Internet Protocol version 4, go to Properties, and I'm just going to set it back to a obtain an IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically. Now I'm going to click OK, close, and my connection is still on. And you can do this the same for the local area connection which would be using an Ethernet cord. I just did it for the Wi-Fi connection, but they both basically work the same. The only thing different is that the wireless network connection will ask you for a, uh, a password most times to get onto the internet. And that's it.